What's happening guys? It's Ryan from R. David's Electrical. Welcome back. Oh. <laughs> Recording. <laughs> So before I was rudely interrupted by young Casper, yeah, we are back. We are at the big six bedroom house. We are on the first floor. Casper's getting some boxes in. As you can see, 35 mils. Chased in a little bit just to accommodate the box. But we've just been going around and doing all them. And it's very noisy here. So yeah. Like I said, first floor sockets, we're gonna whack them in quick, catch you all in a bit. And once again, this video is sponsored by the good people at Prismian Cables. Just like I said in the last video, if you haven't checked out their cable app, go and check it out. Details in the previous six bedroom video, but more on Prismian in a little while, because believe it or not, we're actually quite busy. our first problem of the day. <sighs> Wanna wire these two sockets so the bed is gonna be central to these two sockets either side. Now I wanna drop them from obviously above. See this beam right across here, it's a triple beam that goes the full width of this supporting wall. So you can see on the other side as well. So yeah. The only solution, I obviously want to drop down for a socket, down for a socket there, and then down for a light switch. The only solution I can come up with to get through it is by having to drill up into that beam and then across, and then sort of get the cables in down that way, down. Don't want to do that too many times. So now, instead of doing a drop, drop, we'll just come down this socket and then along to that one. But obviously we still have to do it here for the bedroom uh, a light switch. There, yeah, first problem to contend with, eh mate? Um, it's never easy. Always problems on jobs like this. It's how you overcome the problems, which is the main thing. And that's what I'm trying to teach Casper. That's more like Try and be logical, try and overcome. Don't stress yourself out, which I am very prone to doing. <laughs> and you get there in the end. Always right. Don't be like me. Be like Casper, Mr. Smooth. <laughs> now this drill is not designed for this. But it's the only solution I can come up with to be able to get my drill bit in between these two joists. This is only really designed for screwing in like cabinets and kitchen cabinets and stuff. So it's not ideal. It will get me out of trouble though. I'll give it that. But it may just take me that little bit longer. As soon as you start seeing uh, some wood coming out the bottom, you should be there. So hopefully this should be able to get down this hole. E, there we go. There we go. I'll tell you what, this cable as well, so easy to work and manoeuvre. Plenty of other cables just seem stiff. There's so much sort of flexibility in this. Like the quality of it, PVC, so easy to strip when you cut it. It's just everything about it, it's just so easy to use. Strip some of these cables. Just to show you how easy it 
is to work with. But yeah. PVC, nice and soft, hasn't got that horrible register. Easy to use, easy to strip. Oh, look at that. Lovely and easy to strip. You don't get that powder coated sort of powder residue you get with other cables that are left within the PVC. All lovely and clean, top quality cable as we come to expect with Prisma. And I don't think there's any other competitor if I'm being totally honest with yourselves. Yeah, always good stuff. And just, yeah, it's just so easy to work with. And like I said, that flexibility with the 2.5 especially is exactly what we need. I don't need to pull that one. I need to pull this one through now to get to that other socket. Yeah. Easy peasy. And of course, a chop saw and nail gun won't go amiss because it seems like half the time when I do jobs like this, I end up being a carpenter as well. Right, we're flying, aren't we, mate? That's fine. Absolutely flying. So as you can see, we put the battens in the partition wall to accommodate the back boxes. Didn't want to go plasterboard too. We've got sockets either side of the bed, and there'll be there's another one that serves this room over here. So all these are in and wired. We have another socket to go over here. We have the same issue regarding the lovely triple beam that runs through the ceiling. So what we're going to do, keep it in zone, probably from this cable, come around to the socket over there. And then another in the corner over there. Hey mate. So then we can then move to the other bedrooms throughout this massive property. Let's just walk you through it. Big, huge bathroom in here. This is the, the hallway, which is massive, I might add. A little cupboard in the hallway. Master bedroom with ensuite and walk-in wardrobe imagine having a walk-in wardrobe It'd be lovely so this is also our route down to the consumer unit this is the stairs coming up uh, the consumer unit is going to be below the staircase so there's another wall downstairs that cuts across uh, the living room so the cables you would have seen in the last episode that we did in the loft rooms are going to come through down this partition wall along the ceiling of the ground floor down with in zone to the consumer unit sounds easy doesn't it but we will see 
because obviously we've got things to contest with. This is what happens on jobs of this sort of scale and this size. There's always problems that you never envisage that always come a cropper. So we are nearly done this room. So that means we've nearly done the West Wing. All the way over to the East Wing now, Casper, eh, mate? That's right. Lovely bit of clipping that. Oh, mighty, look at him go, the boy. It's a shame it's going to be hidden though, isn't it, mate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're clipping so rabbit. It's going to be hidden, but look at that. People can't argue with that, can they? Learn from the best, didn't you? Yeah, of course. He learned from the best, the boy. So like I said, this part of the house is done. This is the bedroom, so we're not going to go in here. It's just the really the master room to go. And then that should be all the sockets done on the first floor. So that's now loft floor, first floor. Just got to throw some lights in as well. Oh, while I'm at it, the amount of you that watch my videos that don't subscribe, come on now. Come on. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I'm going to give Casper a clip round the head for banging while I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, like, subscribe, come on. So that is me done in the master bedroom. I've got all my legs in, ready to clip for tomorrow. Casper has the molecular task of getting all the tools downstairs. I will give you a hand, mate. Don't you worry. I'll give you a hand in a sec. But that is all for another episode of Art Davis Electrical at the six B bedroom beast, should I say. Um, like I said, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and we will catch you all on the next video.